Why the seventh day? If someone needs to know the secret meaning of the number seven, it is plausible to say that since in scripture it stands for perfection. It was chosen here to signify a perpetuity, which corresponds well with what we find in Moses. For having said that the Lord rested on the seventh day, he adds no further detail, thus fixing an end to God's work. Another probable conjecture about this might also be suggested. Perhaps in specifying this number, the Lord meant us to understand that the Sabbath for believers will never be perfectly fulfilled until the last day. For we only begin it here and daily pursue it, but because we are continually at war with our flesh, there will be no end until Isaiah's statement comes true, namely that in the kingdom of God there will be a Sabbath which goes on forever, that is, when God is all in all. It might therefore appear that the Lord intended the seventh day to be a symbol to his people of that Sabbath perfection, which will be realized on the last day, so as to help them aim for that perfection by constant effort throughout this life. If that explanation appears too involved and is therefore unacceptable to some, I have no objection if this simpler one were preferred. The Lord appointed a day by which the people were trained under the law's tutelage to reflect on that spiritual rest which knows no end. He therefore set apart the seventh day, either thinking that it would be enough, or the better, to urge the people to observe this practice, following his own example, or else to show them that the Sabbath's only purpose was to make them like their Creator. It scarcely matters, as long as the meaning of this mystery is preserved, which is that the people should be taught to cease from their works. That was the thought to which the Jews were always being directed by the prophets, in case they should think that they were blameless merely by refraining from manual work. Besides the text which we have cited, this is written in Isaiah. If you abstain on the Sabbath so as not to follow your own will on my holy day, and if you solemnly make the Sabbath a holy day and a delight to the Lord of glory, and if you glorify him by leaving off your work and your own wants are neglected, then you will prosper in God.